Hi guys, it's uh, Deepak Lal here from Darwin, Australia. And today's topic we're going to be talking about is uh, measuring your size of your doublers. So we'll be talking about the doubler heads, you know, the top part. So basically, as you can see, I've got two dimes here which are different sizes. They might look the same, but just to tell you, this is a small diameter and a reasonably large diameter. And also we're going to be, um, you know, the bass drum here, this is a large size. So measuring the size of your head of the doublers so basically if your head's broken you know, split cracked open you know, lost its resonance and doesn't sound good anymore you want a you know, skin change so you go to a local music store that sells like Indian musical instruments they sell spare parts or you're going to order from your doubler maker and you ask them that um, you, know, you tell them that um, due for skin change and they're going to be asking you uh, what size heads do you require if you're not sure then I'm going to show you how you measure your heads. So basically, just go with this example here. So we'll need the darn, the double legs, of course, and a little measuring tool I got here. I just cut it off a broken measuring tape. Just bring it home from work. Okay, so how are you going to measure your doublers? So just put it there like that. You know, if you are going by inches, you know. So that's how the most uh, double players and makers work off. So basically, just put it like that. And you see the uh, we're gonna be um, you know going with that line. That's where the inches sit. So try have that line in the middle of the double as possible so you can get the right size. So you just go from there to there. So this is um, a five and a half inch doubler. So that's how you measure it. Even if you got the heads on or the heads off, so preferably with the head off anyway. So this is a five and a half inch. Normally it's tuned to C sharp, but it's tuned to. So it's tuned to F. And how are we going to measure another one? So this is a slightly larger one. So going by this measurement again. Because many doublers, you know, have different sizes and different pitch. So this is. Um, Sorry, just shake that up a bit. So this is a five and three quarter dion. So normally it's tuned to this is tuned to so this is tuned to C sharp, can go two levels high, so that's how we measure the doublers. Or the bion as well. How are you gonna measure your bion if it breaks? So you know you need a bion skin. So again, let's put that there. So this is a uh, nine inches. So there you go, friends. I uh, hope this helps, especially for students that are learning, you know, bubbler and you know their skin's broken. They want a skin change. They need a skin. So this is a guide for them to help to measure their size. So thanks for watching this video, friends. <laughs>